Daily Nation, and it has what promises to be the biggest discussion today, MPs let Linturi off the hook in probe. This is a very um, anticipatory uh, headline. The impeachment motion had been overwhelmingly endorsed by 149 MPs against 36. It was taken to the committee. Uh, this special committee of the National Assembly has cleared, apparently, the Agriculture Cabinet CS of any wrongdoing in the scandal regarding the sale of fig fertilizer to farmers under the National Government Subsidy Program. Now, this is according to a member of the committee who spoke to this particular daily and claims that the MPs were carefully selected to save Linturi. So... We have to wait and see. That's a big headline on the front page of the Daily Nation. Other highlights on the front page, police, NTSA back on the roads as schools reopen. Elsewhere, Zemir threatens demos over new tax proposals. And this is a big discussion point, especially on Twitter. And uh, lawyers arguing and uh, finance experts arguing on whether or not they've read the finance bill of 2024 correctly. But as Emir already was saying, they will not sit back and watch Kenyans being burdened. On the top strip of the Daily Nation today, of course, title race down to the wires. Arsenal beat Man United to pile the pressure on Manchester City. And I think the Daily Nation did us a favor by staying late into the night, I think. <laughs> uh, they must have started printing at nine uh, because this story had to come in. It is a big story, mm -hmm. uh, especially <laughs> when I'm talking about uh, Arsenal beating Manchester United and uh, Getting Good three thing. points at Old Trafford, oh, yes. the theatre of dreams. One more game, Everton, I believe. Oh, yes. One more game. One more. Down to the last day. From lofty jobs to court corridors, ex-governors fight graft allegations and former county chiefs on the sport. This story is on page four. And it has all the images of all the former governors who are now fighting corruption charges in court. Let's flip the page, the paper to the back page. Ruto says we are ready to host more global sports events. And uh, Kenyan junior stars steal the show at Ngong Race Course. Those are the big stories on the Daily Nation today. All right, let's uh, cross over to uh, another daily. Uh, we can take a look at uh, the star. Care to come after your Mpesa bank accounts. So they say uh, the taxman will have powers to compel banks, telcos, to produce uh, customer statements. That is on pages four and five. This really has to do with the whole uh, finance bill, saying President Ruto team moves to implement law, likely to hit hard the hustlers. To want to feature PESA for account na mobile money. Oh, my patikana. Patikana. On uh, the bottom matters uh, uh, the opening of schools for the second term. They say school assess uh, floods after mother's second term begins. And at the bottom, uh, quite a number of headlines there. First off, matters uh, the counties, they say uh, Kirinyaga, let me just have that. Uh, Kirinyaga traders' body finally retrieved from river. Uh, also concerns as schools reopen amid persistent rains and flooding. But then we have to see how uh, things are really going to be uh, even for this entire week and how things, uh, if the rains are, uh, are going to continue. Uh, the section of parents over the weekend uh, mm -hmm. asking the, the government to postpone further the opening of uh, schools. Matters trade win for Kenya as Ethiopia starts importing via Lamu. And finally, uh, the top strip, it is going to be the biggest conversation uh, today. D-Day for Linturi as MPs convened to decide his fate in impeachment bid. The star reports as is and what mm -hmm. to expect today. They don't have uh, inset and inside information on uh, what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's a very tricky uh, direction that Daily Nation has taken, but hey, uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> will they be proven right? All right. Uh, Gazette la Taifaleo Habari Nilele, Linturi ni muupe kama pamba. Skendo, reporti za kwaminika za sema maagizo ya litolewa kwa wabunge wa muokoe waziri wa kilimu. Habari kamili kwenye ukurasu wa pili, wabunge wa saba wanaogemea upande wa Kenya kwanza wa piga kura kumondolea lawama kuhusu mbole ya gushi. Ni habari kupa ale kwenye ukurasu wa mbele wa Taifaleo. Vidokezo zaidi, Joho, kifu wa mbele ODM, kuingineko Amri ya Israel, Rafa, Wahame. Na kuingineko mashaka muhula wapili ukianza. Lakini pale juu, kando na maswale ya sporti ambako ulivo puli elekea kichinjioni Villa Park. Kuna kiatu pale. Mm -hmm. eh, 
Yameona masiku marefu. Let me to use uh, uh, an English expression yeah. it's seen better days. It has seen better days. Wanasema mahasla waachwa solemba. Makadirio ya fedha ya 2024 kuumiza zaidi mtu wa chini kwa ushuru mpya. Habari kamili kwenye kurasa wa tano. Kama ukuelewa vile wanasema finance bill 2024 kwa lugha ya kimombo. Soma hapa. Mm -hmm. Mahasla waachwa solemba. solemba. Every day you learn something new. <laughs> I actually never knew uh, scandal in so is written like that. scandal scandal I think you may me toholewa me toholewa you yeah. let's take a look at uh, the standard gone with the floods and uh, they talk about as the raging water subside the toll they took on infrastructure is unimaginable the loss of life and damage to property the highest in recent times and it will take a while before life gets back to normal that is on pages four and five they take a look at those who are injured the missing persons the roads destroyed the acres of crops affected as well as the number of livestock uh, lost this uh, front page of this paper has quite a number of headlines uh, the big story for today, it's an acid test as MPs decide Linturi's fate. They also report uh, what to expect today. Say, will today have his date with destiny as Parliament votes on whether to impeach him or not. On the very top, uh, quite a number of headlines that uh, will form key conversations, and particularly this week, mm -hmm. as uh, uh, Libura 3 is expected, speak out against new taxes, Kajua rails at leaders. Uh, that is on page 7. To, the big, uh, to another big conversation, state six nod to spy on M-Pesa uh, bank accounts. All, All right. Yes. And yes, it's matters taxation that also feature on the front page of the People Daily. And on the People Daily, they talk about uh, more pain for taxpayers in housing levy. Uh, so new taxation measures. Uh, legislators amend the law by removing tax relief for Kenyans. As Ruto administration seeks to finance its 3.91 trillion shilling budget. That's a big story there. And of course, an image of the embattled CS for agriculture, uh, Linturi there, who's, uh, according to the Daily Nation, will be saved. Finally, let's take a look at business. KRA 6 data protection waiver to spy on tax cheats. This is something else that uh, people need to talk about. Oh, yes. um, that kind of access to your personal data. Just uh, looking for money. You are you may pesa to Ichukwe. All right, let's take a look at the cartoons. And on, um, I think on, uh, there's this new cartoonist on the standard, well, Ito Hadi. Hari. Yes. He, he has is. very interesting cartoons. I know. Here he has uh, the governor for Kiambu, his caricature of Matangi, uh, because it's written on the shield of Matangi as governor. Then he says, you attack and I shall defend. And a couple <laughs> of uh, bows that have actually, it, arrows rather, yes. that have hit his uh, shield. It, it will take a while for us to get used to that cartoonist. On the Daily Nation page... Um, 12. Matters taxation. Mm -hmm. They have an image of a fisherman here who's fishing and placing all the fish on his back. But then uh, there are some uh, vultures that are quick to eat. These vultures are the taxes. So whatever you're getting, however hard you're working to get uh, whatever it is you're getting, the taxation measures will come and eat it.